Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, warm welcome to Harvester of Tomorrow launch here in Ponsos headquarters, Vierema, Finland. Due to these exceptional times, we are not able to see face to face, unfortunately, but you'll be able to send us some questions and comments and show your appreciation by using the chat tool today. So whatever you have in your mind, just type your question, comment or whatever onto the chat tool and we'll uh, pick up those questions during this event. And also I would like to remind you that the chat team, they answer the questions in French, Spanish, Portuguese, English and of course Swedish. If the uh, broadcast cuts off, then you just need to refresh the screen and that should solve the problem. So in case some, that something like that happens, um, that should help you. My name is Mervi Kallio, and I have a great honor to host this event today with the gentleman who most of you probably already know, CEO of Ponce, Juho Numela. Juho, how exciting day is this? We are ex extremely excited for sure. We have a big project uh, uh, behind us. And uh, right now, it's it's amazing opportunity for us to tell the world what we have been uh, accomplishing. So this is always a big, uh, big uh, cause of celebration for us here at mm. uh, at Ponce. Indeed, I think we are ready for at least we are ready here uh, for the big reveal of the day and show the groundbreaking project that you have been working on here at uh, Ponce for so many years now. Yeah, we are ready. So let's see what this is all about. Let's start the show. Well, that is something truly amazing that goes beyond anything I've ever seen before. Um, that must change, or that must be the game changer for the whole business. We have been joined by Juha and uh, Jarmo Vigren. Welcome. You Thank must you. be as excited as we are. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's really nice to have this day, middle of the winter. And as you can see by the videos, we have a real winter here. So that was... Uh, Cool to make those videos, but even more, we are excited to have now launching the Scorpion. Mm. That must be the harvester of next generation, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's definitely true. And and we have to remember that 2013, when we launched this first time in, in Sweden, in the show, there has been a lot of changes. And now it's it's a really good to have to see what we have inside of this machine. Mm, definitely. Juho, if I have understood correctly, um, the next generation Scorpion, it really represents um, the philosophy of your company as well. Can you open up that one a little yeah, bit? Yeah, this, this is a good project and good, good example. So we, uh, we, everybody knows how much we are uh, putting an effort on, on R&D and, and product technology and, and trying to do all kinds of new uh, developments uh, on the product side, but also our business processes and our operations. So this is something that we are big believers on, on continuous development. And uh, this is a good example. And, and one issue which is it's huge for this, this product and project was the fact that we did that. We included a lot of the customers into the project and got real feedback. And we were just, you know, going quite deep into the, uh, with the customers into this project. So this is the way we want to do these things also in the future. So I think this is a good example. Mm, definitely. Jarmo, what is the greatest value that the customer gets from the new Scorpion? I think it's uh, this uh, productivity. It's absolutely, it's coming increasing much more from the pre this previous model. It has been excellent already, uh, but now it will be even much better. So we have been getting a lot of feedback and we have been doing a lot of development 
for that. Definitely. But as you have mentioned, <clears throat> the customer is always in the center. And the first Scorpion was launched already 2013. Could you tell us about the journey that, you ha that has brought us here today, eight years later? Yeah. Actually, it was this uh, launching in uh, Sweden, Skuks uh, uh, Null Elmia in south part of Sweden. And uh, actually, it was the greatest launch what we have done ever in this business. And uh, actually, after that, we started serial production. So we make some machines per each month. And then we took uh, volume up. We guaranteed that the quality was a uh, high level, like it's always in a Ponce. And then uh, after that, we have been selling these machines all over the world, almost. Mm, so the expectations are high as well with the, with the new Scorpion as well. Yes, of course. Definitely. You viewers, um, you have the possibility to send us questions for the, um, for the people at Ponce. So it's a great opportunity to, for you to ask the questions. You haven't mm. been too active yet, but I'm waiting for you to, to get more interactive. But I have a few questions in mind. Um, how many scorpions do we have all over the world and which part of the world? Okay, now we have been delivered uh, scorpions to 25 different countries. And uh, we have been delivered from Vierma over 1,200 machines now. And uh, I think, uh, okay, I have seen scorpion in the south part of Chile, so I think it's quite far away from Vierma, so. <laughs> it's totally, <Yeah. laughs> that's true. Um, Ponce turned 50 years old recently. Um, and I quite often hear about Ponce's spirit. When I talk with the people in Finland or with people who work for you, um, they always mention uh, Ponce's spirit. Can you explain what is, what is that? What is that? What does it mean? I believe that it's, it's the same feeling as Einari had 50 years ago when he started the business here in this location. And the company was really small, five people to work know any experience of business mm. with forest machines. So the level how they started was below zero, we can say that way. But what was strong side was, of course, Einar's background as a contractor. So he, know, he knew very well what kind of machine was needed. And he had a good ability to take the best people to work. So those people need to work together. And they had a very, very clear vision what they were doing. And, and that make them very strong. And year after year, they were growing. Company was growing. We had more people to come in. But everybody had the same idea that we work together for the better products. So that was the spirit what we have had and still is here by the Einari. The spirit is like in a sports team. When they aim to, to some uh, goal, they work like that. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's very clear that when you have the vision and you want to make the steps that you have to go there. Mm. So... Everybody puts the energy the same way. And that helps a lot. Not like a Ponce Buffalo ice hockey team when these guys are playing. <laughs> no, we it's are not excellent the players. Yeah. <laughs> we know. have good spirit, but <laughs> nobody can play. Yeah. That's joking. We are playing a lot of against our customers. And as you know, we cannot beat our customers. Of course, you let them win. <laughs> yes. hey, that's, that's a clever point. And uh, if you didn't know, these guys, they went already this morning, 7 o'clock, on the ice playing ice hockey. Ice hockey is a big thing in, in yeah, Finland. There was only one lazy guy, but... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we don't point him, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, Einari, sp the spirit of Einari is still really strong here in Vierema and, of course, in Ponce. Um, I, this is a question for all of you. What is the advice that you keep in mind every day when you make the dis uh, difficult decisions or when you come to work um, that... Enari has given to you. You can start, Juho. Well, maybe what I remember, you know, Enari had a great wisdom and uh, it was a great personality. So, and, and we are all lucky that we were uh, able to work with him. And I always remember that, uh, you know, everything, you know, one of the biggest value that we have is related to honesty. And, uh, you know, and I always say that, uh, you, know, you know, if we promise something, we need to keep it. We don't give any false promises. And, you know, honesty is the most important thing. And I, you know, I, I, I feel extremely proud because we are a family company. We are um, a value-driven company, and we have a great culture, which is also a big, uh, big uh, competitive advantage uh, for us. So, you know, this is, this is a great wisdom from, from Enari. Mm. How about you, Juha? Well, it's always the values. So how we work, we, we, we are a lot of talking about honesty, and it, it's the main thing in everyday life. So we have to live with that and make our decisions based on our values, and that, that is very strong here in Ponce. 
but also what Einari had on 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 his uh, personality was he was very good face to face. He 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 was able to communicate with everybody, and 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 this is something we are missing now. So it's good to have this uh, situation here with live, but I need to say for every customer and every people that we are missing those faces and everybody that hope one day we will be together and and take a long bit or or little shots by each other. But that was really Einar's strength, face to face, and that was uh, what we miss now. I couldn't agree you more. What do you call that little shot here in Finland? Slompi. Slompi. Yeah, actually it was Einar's saying. Slompi. Yeah. 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 So that is like a bit of toast. Toast. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think we are all missing people, right? Yeah. But Janmo, what is the advice that Einari has given to you that you always remember? Yeah, it's a lot of same things what the guys was telling already. But I think one thing was also that uh, we need to make decisions. Sometimes you make maybe not right decision. You take a step behind, but mm. usually you are taking these steps more forward. So this is the way, and uh, you need to work with together with the customers and our sponsor people as well. Mm. So a lot of things, but... Uh, Now we have great things also over here, so yeah. showing that we have been doing good decisions. But it all based, it's all based on uh, like fundamental values, really. Yep. So that's where yeah. it all comes from. Wonderful. When you <coughs> talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk. I would like to see that scorpion in action now. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. <laughs> so let's start rolling the, uh, uh, the video. So let's see the scorpion in work in the forest side. So roll the video. Wow, such a big and massive harvester, but moving so smoothly. That is really impressive. We've been joined in the studio, Juha Inberi and Marco Mattila. You must be excited as well. Marco, you must be eager to tell more about the details and um, the updates that comes with uh, this beautiful scorpion. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for this. So I'm very excited for sport. How would you sum up everything that comes in, in this new Brand new scorpion. Well, it's. Um, I would say first that you know it's it's quite remarkable the changes what we have been making to this uh, this uh, scorpion product family. So that is that is quite amazing. And uh, when you think about the the scorpion product family, it's already it's a legend in the world basically in 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 the in the forests in many countries. And and now these developments what we have been able to make, it's making this uh, product uh, portfolio uh, this product go to next level. So that is quite amazing thing. And really, from the customer point of view and from the from the operator point of view, so so the use of friendliness and easiness of to operate the machine and visibility, ergonomy, all all of these kind of things that what has been improved with this new new product. That's that's the really the key. Mm. As we already talked, um, Juha, customer is always in the center when Ponce is working. Whatever Ponce is doing, customers is always in the key uh, key. key Point. Um, how can, how have you taken that one into into account when designing and developing this machine? Yeah, customers have been involved in the project from very beginning, and we started by interviewing uh, operators and asking what we should improve and further development in the Scorpion. And uh, based on the feedback, we started the development project. And during the project, we arrange uh, demos and big reviews every three months. 
and based on the feedback what we received from customers and our own test operators, we developed the next development version and the final result is shown here today. Mm. Yeah, the machine is quite amazing and, uh, you know, a lot of development. So, and, and when we started this, you know, this was 2013 when we had the, the first Scorpions out in Elmia, as Jarmo was mentioning. So, and after that, we've had, you know, uh, a lot of uh, continuous development uh, and continuous improvement actions. You know, the machines have been changing and uh, uh, right now this is a little bit more fundamental change, mm. right? So maybe, Marco, can you elaborate a little bit more what we have been doing and a little bit bigger, uh, uh, you know, the technical side, what we have been changing in this new, new Scorpion? For sure, uh, that's a pleasure, and, and maybe you need to start with this uh, new cabin that is behind here. So that is totally new, and a lot of, uh, lot of uh, new things in this new cabin. And uh, maybe the biggest thing first that has to be mentioned is the visibility uh, for the operator, mm. really. And uh, when you think about the today's Scorpion, Scorpion King machines, you know, the, we have an amazing visibility uh, for the operators already, about 57% um, of their view, the operator's view is, is the windows. But with this new, new cabin, it's a 79%. So we have, uh, we have improved this uh, visibility even more. And, and, and that's important when you think about the working long hours in, in, in the forest. So, so operator can see the treetops and can see the uh, sites and all the, all the working area. So right. that's, a, that's a big thing. And uh, maybe, maybe, Juha, you want to maybe add something to this uh, added visibility and for the cabin. What would you say a bit more about that? In addition to excellent visibility, the new laminated front window meets the requirements of the new Saint Shot standard. And what comes to the visibility, we have also redesigned the working lights. And we started by using modern simulation tools. And um, when we tested the system, and as a result, the light pattern is more smooth, reflections are minimized, and also the color of the lights is more comfortable for operator eyes. And totally, there are 31 pieces of new energy efficient LED lights now in the new Scorpion. But Marco, would you like to tell more about the other improvements in the cabin? For sure, I can do that. So, so one thing that is coming up from, this, um, from our customers here, a uh, big thing is the, the room inside the cabin. So there's more room uh, for the operator, uh, even for the very long-legged uh, uh, people like me or even, even longer, longer operators. So there's room to stretch the legs in, in the cabin. So that's a big thing. Also, also more room on the sideways. So that is a good thing. More storage room also inside the cabin and, and, and stuff like that. And also we have been getting a good feedback from the, from the customers that uh, this, uh, this new cabin is even more silent than the previous one. And that's quite a, quite a big thing when you think about how silent our uh, existing Scorpion cabin is. Yeah. And also air conditioning is, uh, we've been getting a feedback that is working extremely well, even, even better now with this model than the, with the previous one. So all kinds of things uh, like this um, in, in, inside the cabin. And there's also a lot of uh, details that have been improved and changed in this new cabin. And I think I will not start to go through all of these here. So. I think the best thing is that uh, all of you guys, you can ask from the local Ponce people and ask more about the details uh, from the inside the cabin. But, um, and also some other thing is that there is other improvements, other modifications to the machine, to the grain, grain base, extension boom and stuff like that. So all these details you can ask also from the Ponce, Ponce people, from your local salesman, for example. But the last a couple of points that I want to highlight from this machine behind me is that the, uh, from the computer side, we have this uh, brand new Opti8 computer. And, uh, and this is something that has been in the production already beginning of the year to all of our machines uh, leaving from the, from the factory. And um, also this machine has it and, and it's been getting really good feedback from the customers because it's more powerful computer very big uh, um, screen and uh, it's a touch screen, so it works extremely nicely uh, for the operator. So user friendliness, again, it play, plays a big role. And then of course, the big thing is that um, uh, with this machine, we are also uh, showing this new 5G control system. The, the, you know, the, uh, this is something totally new that we are bringing, bringing to the market uh, from, from our side. And, and uh, this 5G control system is something that uh, we bring to the production uh, for the Scorpion and Scorpion King machines from September to Finland and Sweden markets first. And after that, next year, 
goes to Germany and, and, and after that to other markets step by step. So, but the big thing with this uh, 5G control system is that uh, this is totally new, new platform and it, 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 it's a next level um, control system uh, for the forest machine. And there's also very nice uh, this kind of uh, user interface for the operator. So very easy to use for the operator. You can find all the things very easily from, from the Opti. And um, you can make the quick adjustments to the crane speed, whatever you want to do. So it um, uh, works very nicely. Good feedback from the customers what comes to user friendliness of this, uh, this uh, new, new 5G. And also with this new 5G, there's this uh, new active crane option coming up. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe Juha, you want to say a few things about this active crane option. Exactly. The 5G enables new intelligent crane control system, what we are calling Ponce active crane and this feature uh, makes possible for operator to control the velocity and direction of the boom and instead of controlling each joint separately but Marku and Antti will tell more about this active crane feature in their presentation later on. That's correct. Even though we are launching this amazing scorpion today a uh, few of them are already working in the woods and forests um, in extreme conditions since we have a lot of snow here in Finland. And uh, as Einari used to say, nobody knows the harvester better than its operator. So let's hear about the customer experience from now on. No, I have been a scorpion for a And now it came to the new version. No, minusta on hyvä koppi on valostunut ja, ja nosturi on hyvä käyttö ja kyllä minusta on hyvän tuntunen kone. Siinä on tuo kokonaan tuo lasi tuonne kattoon asti nyt ja valostunut minun mielestä, uudistunut. Siitä näkee paremmin ja myös taaksekin päin, eli koppi kapenee taaksepäin ja ikkunoita on sinne, niin sillä on helpompi niin kuin urantakin peruuttaa, kun näet sitä takakulumasta nyt sinne taakse. No, ja mun aktikreeni, niin ehoton homma harvennuksella, että kyllä se heti huomaa, jos se ei ole päällä, niin nappia hakkee sormi, että harvennuksella niin ehoton peli on, että niin tuota, helpottaa huomattavasti työskentelyä. Kaikki mitä saa itse tekemisestä pois, niin kaikki on helpottavia asioita. No, taas valot on kyllä hyvät, että ne ei loista tuosta hangen pinnasta. Jaksaa enempi, ei rasita, eli on haettu semmoinen sopiva valaistus, niin tota, ja valot on oikeassa kohti ja näyttää oikea paikka. No akti, reini on hyvää tulevaisuutta, hyvä näkyvyys ja valotkin on kyllä ihan niinku tätä päivää. On ihan hyvälle näyttää lukemat, mitä katselee tuolta, että niin tota, ei ainakaan huonompi joko entinen. Kiinnostaisi kovasti tuo uusi korppio, niin nyt sulla on ollut ajossa se muutaman kuukauden, niin kokemuksia siitä, että Varmaan niin su suurimpana hän on tuo korvaimen käyttö, eli Active Green ja ohjaamo, nehän niissä suurimmat varmaan erot. Koska se varmasti käytännössä on paljon isompi ole se ohjaamo, mutta se, se on oikeassa paikassa se tilaa siinä. Ja, ja tuota, näkyvyys lähinnä niin sivuille päin niin on, on paljon parempia. On sitä jotenkin saanut pehmeämmäksi, ei enää ajaessakaan, ei heilahtele sillä lailla. Ja tuota, hiljaisempi on kyllä mitään vanhemman malli. Ei se huonolle ollutkaan, mutta paremmaksi sitä on saatu. Hyttä on tullut paljon tilaavammaksi ja näkyvyys on paljon parempi, eteenpäin näkee paremmin, ei ole mitään turhia pilareita edes samaa sivuillekin päin, kummallekin puolelle näkee paremmin. Sitten muutenkin avarampi, nämä paneelit on kaikki täällä vähän alempana ja alhaalla lasit. Nosturi on paljon mieleisempi, aktiivikreenin myötä helppo säätää, kuljettajalle paljon pehmeämmän tuntona ja mukavampi käyttää. Sitten hyttä on hiljainen. Ei kuulu paljon hydraulikan meteliä enää hyttään. Valaistusta on muutettu, ei tule enää pimeitä kohtia eikä väläky kuskille ollenkaan vaikka kääntää. Valaistus on paljon mieleisempi ja tykkään kyllä tästä, että tämä on paljon mieleisempi nyt käyttää. No nyt siitä se kiinnostaa, kun muutoksia on tehty ja että millä se yrittäjän näkökulmasta, että onko niillä nyt ollut apua tuottavuuteen sitten? On varmasti pitemmän päälle. Totta kai siis siinä vähemmän ja 
tuota, mit, mitä mukavampi se hyttää yleensäkin on ja mitä mukavampi sillä on tehdä, niin kyllä siinä jaksaa tehokkaammin olla sen pidemmän päivän kyllä. Niin. Extremely impressive comments from your customers. You should be proud. Wow, you made all that. <laughs> you, ha you are the head of um, um, product development at Sponsor. What was the vision when you started to create this amazing Scorpion? The main goal was to take the user experience to the next level. And in this project, we have successfully combined the opportunities of new technologies with the needs of customers. In addition to usability, uh, also safety, ergonomics, operator comfort, and easy to use have been the goals of this project. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. The world is changing quite rapidly right now. So technology is changing fast and, and uh, you know, there is uh, the, the climate change is, is challenging every one of us. So that is a huge issue. So, you know, all these megatrends are affecting us. So how do you see, you know, your role uh, as, you know, in, in R&D and, and, and the drivers that are affecting you at the moment? Yes, that's true that the technology is developing very fast at the moment and it uh, uh, brings opportunities for us. And we are now investing heavily in new future product technologies together with EPEC, Ponce's technology company. And the focus areas, what we have there are first is um, energy, efficient drives to reduce fuel consumption of the machine, yep. then operator assist systems, to improve the productivity of the machine. Then comes uh, digitalization and digital services to add value for our customers. And then sustainable forestry and sustainability uh, on the way towards carbon neutrality. Yeah. And when we um, include and combine all these key technologies, our goal is uh, to make sure that uh, Ponce will be the technology leader in cut to length forestry in the future as well. Right, yeah. Digitalization and 5G will redefine the function of Scorpion. Can you open that a little bit up, please? Yeah, but this is, it has been, 5G has been a huge project for us. And, you know, it has been going for, for quite many years. It has been a huge investment. And this is, as, you know, everybody was mentioning, you know, it's a ease of use and, you know, it's uh, totally, you know, you have the touch screens through uh, OptiAid and, and this type of uh, technology, and then you simultaneously, you know, have the foundation mm. uh, for the for the digitalization that is happening for us at the moment. So I think this is a, this is a great breakthrough from us, and this lays out the, the ground for the for the future as well. So because we have, you know, originally 4G was the the roots were back in the 90s. So we were developing that, you know, continuously quite uh, quite a long time, and right now we have taken a step for the for the new technology. So this is actually a big issue for for Ponce and for the future and for the digitalization of these machines and and uh, and our services as well. Mm. And when talking about 5G, does it have something to do with the data network, or is it something different? No, Sorry, I is, have a blonde hair, no, so I can ask uh, yeah, things. <laughs> yeah, but this is this is good. You know, this is just perfect timing. Everybody thinks that right now we are 5G ready, right? Yes. But you know, this is 5G. This is the fifth generation for for Optis for us. And but you know, Dr. Imbari will make sure that we are 5G ready also. Yes. For the future. Absolutely. Yes. Good. <laughs> Let's deep dive to 5G. Um, it's time now to initiate the link. Few kilometers away from here, actually close to the place uh, where Einari. Vidgren uh, was born. Um, that is called Mäkelä, and we go now there. And there is Markus Savolainen and Antti Rasanen who will take us through to the revolutionary 5G user experience. Welcome to Mäkelä. I'm here with uh, Marku, and we're introducing you to the new generation Opti 5G uh, information system for Ponce forest machines. Uh, the information system is obviously a very important part of the forest machine. It is the user interface for the operator for daily operations, setting, calibration, and so on. But it also makes the machine a part of the logistic chain of timber pre procurement. So a very crucial part of the machine. Uh, all the parties benefit from a good information system in, in harvester, particularly forest owner, a logging company, operator, obviously, 
but then also industry and the final customer of the, of the timber products. They also benefit when the timber is procured effectively and you get the right kind of materials. Uh, Ponce has always been the uh, developer of information systems. We introduced PC computer to forest machines already in 1992. Mm -hmm. And as early as 1997, we connected the first harvester to internet. So really early his uh, stage of uh, internet of things, if you like. Yes, that, that is true. And uh, now we are uh, introducing most modern uh, information system for forest machines, Opti 5G. And uh, together with this Opti 8, PC computer. This Opti 5G will uh, set level of user experience in forest machines to totally new, new level. That's that's sure. And uh, of course, at Ponce, most important value for our R&D is feedback from our customers. What, what they are uh, like, liking our products and what they are they are feeling, how they are u using them. And uh, let's listen some uh, feedback from. Uh, customers are around the world, what they have been thinking about this new system in real world. No niin, huomenta olipa mukava tulla tänne sinun Savotalle ja Nuotiolle oikein jutustelemaan tässä. Nyt on 5G siinä uudessa Skorpionissa käyttöjärjestelmänä, niin mitäs kokemuksia siitä sulla olisi kerrottavana? No on se nopea kaikki sellainen, mitä sieltä tarvii yleensäkin tehdä asetusten muuttamme sitä semmoista, niin se on, se on helppo homma kyllä, että on, on menty eteenpäin siinä. Nopeampi kyllä leimi kuin aloitukset ja, ja tämmöiset, mitä yleensäkin asetuksia pitää muutella ja semmoisia, niin se on aika lailla napsi ja kops. Niin. Joo, no tietokone on tuon optikasin myötä muuttunut paljon isommaksi. Muutenkin selkeämpi minun mielestä käyttää melkein tuplasti isompi, mitä vanha. Ja kosketusnäyttö pelaa hyvin. Kaikki, mitä täältä säijätään, niin Löytyy aika pitkälti kolmen valikon alta. Ei ole niin paljon mitä vanhemmissa versioissa. Ja helppo säätää leimikot löytyy yhdestä paikkaa. Konetta säätää yhdestä ja yhdestä löytyy sitten käsittelytilaa, missä, mistä ajetaan konetta. Näppäimistä ei tarvi niin paljon käyttää, kun aina kun jotakin haluat muuttaa, niin tuosta pystyt sormenaan vaan plussaamaan ja miinustaan. Paljon nopeampi kuin edellinen. Behind me we have a company called Consub. They have used this new computer of the 8 and also this new software 5D. For a couple of months, we have had a close cooperation with them, with running information, so we know what they think about these new products. So, time to hear straight from the customers what they think about these new options. Hang on. Here, we have a look at Har du använt nya Opti 8 och 5G-styrsystemet några månader? Um, jag är helt nöjd. Det fungerar riktigt, riktigt bra. Uh, datorn är riktigt, riktigt snabb. Fungerar helt utan problem. Uh, touchen är helt perfekt. <coughs> Hoppa mellan menyerna och sånt där. Väldigt enkelt. Mm. Till exempel som man vill starta upp ett arbetsområde. Mm. Ta liksom två klick så är det klart. Och Ja, men uh, hoppa mellan menyerna och mm. kraninställningarna, mm. allting, det kommer in superfort här. Fantastiskt. Går riktigt, riktigt bra. Upplevelsen kring hastighet i själva datorn, känns det bra? Ja, den är riktigt, riktigt snabb. Mm. Mm. Riktigt bra. Det är ju det är en viktig del i det dagliga. Ja, det är ju det. Absolut. Hur, hur skulle du sammanfatta hela upplevelsen efter att ha använt hela den här utrustningen nu ett, ett tag. Nej men det är kanonbra. Jag är riktigt riktigt nöjd. Oh, then it's time to thank you all for this quick visit here in Sweden. Tätä päivää ja noppeja helppo. Eli nyt en kaikkien asioiden välillä niin se menee sujuvasti niin hipasun näppäimillä vaan ja tuota, se on heti käyttövalmis että ei tarvitse mitään odottaa siinä ja Samoin kaikki, mitä tekee sille muutokset, niin ne on heti voimassa, että konetta pystyy lämmittämään, kun tuota, teet jotakin säätöjä tuonne optin puolelle sitten. Niin tuota. Aamullakin, kun ottaa pakkaskelillä, niin koneja rupeaa lämmittelemään, niin siinä samalla pystyy muuttelemaan niitä väriä ja esivalintoja tai mitä nyt tarvitsee tehdäkään. Ja 
koura pellaa silti ja pystyy rullia pyörittämään, niin tällä saa koneen lämpimäksi ja tätä sitä on toivottukin. No minusta se on tuota noin niin helppo ja nopea käyttää niin kuin. Tuota noin, niin ei tarvii välttämättä aina näppäimistöä käyttää, että saa sitä äkkiä hipastua sormella vaikka, niin se on ihan hyvä. Eriomainen käytettävyys. Siinä on menty pitkä harppaus eteenpäin. Okei, okay, that sounded good. The customers seem to like the Opti 5G a lot. And it sounds also that we have succeeded in uh, making the system like we planned originally, that it is easy to use, very simple and clear for the operator. Uh, one thing that makes it easy to switch from the old Opti 4G generation to the new Opti 5G generation is that with the new one, we have used the same ideas, the same basic structures than in the old 4G generation. Just, of course, brought to the new uh, technology, new user interface and new user experience. So it's really easy change for the operator. Yes, that's true. And uh, of course, all technology is totally, totally new, but this feedback from our test drivers have been excellent good that they have been able to switch from 4G to 5G without any, any big effort. So it's been very fast process. We always knew that, that the users, i.e. the operators in the machines, are in the center of everything. So what we wanted to do is to create a efficient as possible user, user interface for them to operate the machine. So we, we wanted to build a, a user interface that is at the same time simple, but, but fast and also has all the functionality that is in the Opti 4G as well. So, so it's, it, it's a combination of everything. It's very important to listen to your customers but not only listen, you have to actually hear them. That means that you, you listen to their, their needs, their, their problems. You, you try to gather all the information around it and then try to understand what the real issue is, what, what are we solving, and then create a solution for them, test it with the customers again, so, that, so to, to find that, okay, does this solution answer the, the problem that the users had? And that way we've created um, a, a, an interface that's quick and simple to use so, so that you can actually concentrate on the work at hand. It's, it's not, there's no idea in, in using countless minutes or hours in, in browsing through the interface if it doesn't help in your work. So the idea is that you can, you can concentrate on what's happening outside the machine and then whenever uh, there's, an, there's a thing that you need to check you can quickly glance and find the information in the right spot. And you can then continue the work from there on. In Opti 5G, we have improved the interface so that the operator always have the information they need when they need it. One of the important things is that this is a tool. And, and I believe that if a tool looks nice, feels nice, it is a good tool, and all professionals want to use the best tools available, and I believe that Opti 5G is the best tool available. Okay, that was good information. Uh, Marku, can we go through the basic principle of Opti 5G? For sure. The basic principle is quite simple. We have only three views in a system. One for the working view, where you are normally uh, cutting trees and uh, what are you using during the normal work shift. Then second one is planning view, where you can open work areas, close them, send all information to cloud and email if me needed. And uh, then third one is setting center, where you can easily change some settings of the machine if that is needed for, for the work. So quite, quite simple, o only three views. If you are able to use them, I would say you are able to use that 5G. It is quite clear. And one more thing about the Opti 5G I'd like to mention is the Harvester Active Crane. So we are now introducing Active Crane function also to Scorpion and Scorpion King. And it means that uh, instead of operating single uh, crane joints, now the operator is uh, just giving speed and direction for the harvester head with the joysticks. It's making crane operation very smooth and easy 
and also it's faster to learn for a new operator to work effectively. So it's bringing him to the next level, acceptable production level, much faster. The system is also really simple. There's only one sensor module and one magnetic sensor in the extension cylinder. So really simple and reliable system. Yes, exactly. And uh, that Arctic crane is definitely one part of overall usability of our, our machines. That's, that's great. And uh, one comment about um, availability. Of course, everybody is uh, uh, asking when this system is available. And uh, we are starting deliveries from uh, Scorpion and Scorpion King machines, uh, which are delivered to Sweden and Finnish markets starting from September this year. Of course, 5G will replace our current 4G product in all, all uh, machine, machines, but uh, we are starting from Scorpion. Okay, really good. Now the chat is open. Please give your comments, ask any questions. We will answer them. And uh, now I think it's good time to move back to the Ponce Studio. Thank you, Antti and Marco. That was really interesting. We have viewers all over the world, from Argentina, Europe, everywhere. Please be active and send us some questions. You have now an amazing opportunity to ask these guys who know this one best in the world, the questions that you now have in your mind. We have a few questions. And Marco, I think you are the best one to answer to the first one. Um, somebody asks uh, in a chat, Will you continue with the roadshow when this COVID-19 pandemic is finally over? Maybe maybe not a roadshow like it was planned before, but of course, for sure, we will be looking at uh, making a demos and, and other, other roadshows in the future. But, uh, but this 50-year roadshow that we were pl planning to do, so I think that was, that's, that's over for sure now, mm, unfortunately. Okay. So. so, Marco, any plans for traveling when the corona is done? <laughs> I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> How much are you missing the, to, to meet your customers? Uh, so now? much. Yeah, you know, so that much. is, you know, because we are, you know, as you all, Vigran was mentioning, you know, the face-to-face -face, uh, interaction is very, very important. So, and we are, we want to be close to the customers. So, this is something that we are missing quite a bit, actually. Mm. So, we are so ready to go. Yeah. yeah. As soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, yeah. We, I think we all want to go. Yeah. Um, Juha, the first Scorp Scorpion was launched in uh, 2013. Um, what, how many updates have you been made since then? I mean, in these eight years? We have done huge amount of uh, changes, product modifications, according to customer feedback. And the continuous improvement is very important for us. And it's one of the main processes in R&D. And uh, from the beginning of serial production, we have arranged uh, customer seminars in different countries where we have invited our customers to collect feedback. But also we have given the information what kind of changes we have done to the products. And these uh, events have been very important for us. Mm. We now see something that we have never seen before. Um, but what is the situation, situation in the market in your business at the moment? all over the world it's actually pretty pretty hot at the moment so a lot of things happening in uh, in the uh, forest industry our customers are working really well in in many of the countries at the moment so that is very good uh, uh forest industry is, uh, is investing and 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 it's it's busy in in many countries so we are getting orders in really a lot at the moment of course Still, there is this uh, pandemic uh, situation going on, so that is uh, bringing some uncertainty in, in some markets and some operational challenges for sure. And, uh, and, but uh, overall, for us, it's, it's quite, quite busy. And, and, uh, and also, factory is, is very busy, right? Yeah, Juho? factory is actually doing great. So at, at this moment, you know, we are back to doing investments again. And uh, you know, we are actually investing right now in part manufacturing. We still do normally our frame structures in-house. <clears throat> and this is something that we will continue right now. Uh, investing in machining and, and welding automation. And uh, the factory is actually uh, actually in two shifts in, in full capacity at the moment. So even though, you know, we have the risk of, of pan pandemic and, and so on, so market situation is hard and, and uh, the order book is, is actually quite nice at the moment for, for us. So we are, we are doing well. That's a good sign, positive thing. Um, now the viewers maybe are and customers are wondering how and where and how long does it take if I want to order one, one of these and where to buy them? 
Well, that's an easy question. So just need to find the closest Ponce salesman and, and, uh, and uh, you can find it usually quite close, close from where, where the customers are. So for sure, it's, it's very easily done. And, and if you don't know who is your salesman, just go and check uh, www.bonsi.com and uh, check your area, who is the representative there. So that's very easy fix. And at the moment, the, the order book is somewhere, um, let's say October, mm -hmm. um, November. So that's where we are at the moment. So it's quite quite good situation there. Mm -hmm. Of course, one uh, good question is always concerning the money. How much money do you need to buy this beauty? <laughs> Well, hey, that's something that you can for sure ask from these uh, very, very strong uh, sales salespeople from the from the world. So, so uh, I think that is the best best to ask from from these guys straight. Mm. And maybe when you think about what you get, it's not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. price price from uh, money uh, the value for the price. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, when I buy a new car, I usually test drive it so that I know do I like it or do I not. Is it possible to somehow test drive this or? Well, of course, now this uh, pandemic situation is causing some some issues for that, so it's it's not so easy to organize. But uh, but for sure, everybody who is interested, just be in touch with your sponsor representative and 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 let's see what can be organized and in what kind of a time frame. So, yeah. so let's do the best w what we can. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sustainability is one uh, big issue, of course. How have you taken that all that into account when when developing this? Scorpion. That is actually a great question. Sustainability is driving us, and as Dr. Inbari was saying, that we are we are trying to reach carbon neutrality for the in, in the future for the company. So, as you know, for cut to length method, you know that is a sustainable method. You know, forest management practices through cut to length is actually you know uh, sustainable in in that that way. And and our job over here is to provide technology that is you know good uh, you know uh, for the sustainable forest management practices. So this is very very important uh, for us. And many things on, on this, the, the entire uh, methodology uh, for CTL is representing sustainability mm. uh, in, in, uh, in a longer term and a bigger term. Juha, in the future, we now already have a lot of cars uh, w um, that is um, working with electricity. Could we someday see this e-version? <laughs> yes, that's That a... is a question from the chat. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a, that's a good, good question. And... And of course, we have to remember that the technology is developing really fast at the moment, and it brings us a lot of opportunities to apply these new technologies also in forestry and uh, in our machines. Mm, definitely. Juho, we have had an amazing day here um, at Ponce headquarters, um, launching this beauty, something that we have never seen before. How would you sum up this day? I don't know. It's been an amazing day. You know, you know the excitement that you know you can be felt over here, and you know just uh, listening to the customer feedback. That's always the the most important thing for us. And the videos were great. <clears throat> and then simultaneously, yeah, we are extremely happy that uh, you know our people have been able to accomp accomplish something like this. So you know, uh, you know, we are extremely proud of uh, uh, for today and and for the accomplishment of of Ponce people. So it's been a great day. Mm. Definitely. Juha, many years of work is now here. Yes, that's true. We started the project, it was 2017, and two years later, 2019, the first prototype machine was ready. And now we have several machines running and under tests with our customers, and the serial production will start after summer vacation. Mm, and Marco can't wait to get uh, to your offices to sell those beers, right? Hey, we are ready. We are so ready. <laughs> we yeah. are so ready. Thank you guys so much for this interesting day. Thank you for all the viewers for participating in this event today. I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.